Victor Wimbenyama, the 7'4 French basketball prodigy, has been making waves in the world of basketball. His rise to fame began at a young age, when he was first scouted during a U11 game in Versailles. From there, he joined the Nanterre Basketball Club, and he quickly made a name for himself as a versatile and skilled player. Wimbenyama's unique blend of size, skill, and finesse has drawn comparisons to some of the greatest players in the game. His former teacher, Francois Salon, recalls Wimbenyama as a smart, polite, and gifted student who had an unusual array of knowledge about the world. Despite his towering height, Wimbenyama was known for his calm demeanor and ability to connect with his teammates and coaches. As Wimbenyama's skills and reputation grew, so did the attention he received. NBA stars like LeBron James and Nicholas Batum have praised his talent and potential, with Batum even going as far to call him a unicorn. He is considered one of the most promising young talents in the league, and many experts believe he has the potential to become a superstar. However, some players have already dominated him on the court. In this video, we'll take a look at five NBA players who have dominated Victor Wimbenyama. And number two will shock you. The first game of interest is the one between Joel Embiid and Wimbenyama, the two big basketball players. This was an incredible game, with both players putting on a clinic of shots and enthralling the crowd with their dexterity and talent. But Embiid, the current league MVP, stole the show with his enormous stature and raw power. Wimbenyama maintained his physical superiority, but Embiid's overwhelming strength was what ultimately changed the outcome. Embiid got off to a scorching start, lighting up the scoreboard with an incredible 24 points in the first quarter alone. This set the tone for an incredible display. Embiid's dominance only grew stronger as the game went on, leading to an incredible career high of 70 points that helped the Philadelphia 76ers defeat the San Antonio Spurs in a thrilling triumph. Triumph. This was a night to remember in NBA history and more than just a game. It was a masterclass in basketball skill. In what could have been a challenging matchup, Lowry Markkinen turned the tables and dominated both Wimbenyama and the San Antonio Spurs. The Utah Jazz extended their winning streak with an impressive 130-118 victory. Markkinen, showcasing his prowess for the second consecutive game, delivered another stellar performance, dismantling the Spurs' defense. Known as one of the league's top sharpshooters, Markkinen displayed his versus utility and scoring in various ways. His remarkable shooting, sinking five out of nine three-pointers and shooting an astounding 70% from the field left spectators in awe. These standout nights underscore Markkinen's ability to elevate any offensive lineup, especially when supported by strong guard play. It's clear that when Markkinen is on fire, he becomes an invaluable asset to any team he's a part of. Although the Houston Rockets have not experienced much success this season, which is typical of a young club in the NBA, Alpir and Shingu represents a significant piece of the organization's future. Despite having a lot of young talent on the Rockets, their third-year center has been exceptional at times this season. Shingun is enjoying his greatest season to date, averaging a career-high 21.3 points per game on 53.8% shooting from the field and 9.4 rebounds per game. The Turkish talent is emerging as the next great European superstar big man in the NBA, with early indicators of play similar to Nikola Jokic. Shingun faced one of the best young players in the NBA, Victor Wimbenyama of the San Antonio Spurs, in a blockbuster match. Shingun led the Rockets to a 114-101 victory over the Spurs with a career-high 45 points, a season-best 16 rebounds, and a career-high 5 steals. He's only the sixth player in NBA history to record at least 45 points, 15 rebounds, and 5 steals in a game, thanks to his incredible performance. At barely 21 years old, he is also the youngest player to achieve such a feat. Shingun acknowledged after the game that he was driven to produce a good game because of his clash versus Wimbenyama. He said this, I can admit that I wasn't that good versus him in our most recent game. Today, I didn't witness many double teams. I just went about my business with Wimby because they left me alone. Wimbenyama only managed 10 points in the game against Shingun, dominated in the contest. Wimbenyama has been the most talked about rookie for the bulk of the NBA season. On Monday night, Trace Jackson Davis, a rookie with the Golden State Warriors, altered that. Jackson Davis, who gave Wimbenyama a brutal one-handed smash went viral. As he fell to the ground, the former Indiana basketball star hurled it down, setting
setting the Golden State bench on fire. The crowd in San Antonio was also pretty impressed with the move Jackson Davis put on Wimbenyama. Wimby is the up-and-coming talent that everyone's talking about. He could be the next big thing in the NBA, but Jackson Davis showed no fear when going one-on-one -on -one with the Spurs star. The dunk from Jackson Davis was the highlight of the night, but the rookie had a huge impact on the game overall. Off the bench, he recorded a double-double with 13 points and 11 rebounds. In addition, the former Hoosier provided five assists. In any case, Wimbenyama, despite the dunk, had a strong performance for San Antonio. He had 14 rebounds and 27 points by the end of the game. Unfortunately for him, nobody would be discussing this game's results in that way, though. In the third game of a seven-game homestand, the Minnesota Timberwolves battled it out against the San Antonio Spurs in the 2023 number one overall pick Victor Wimbenyama, who faced fellow Frenchman and mentor Rudy Gobert. Carl Anthony Towns was absent from Minnesota's game for personal reasons following the unexpected death of a longtime friend. Still, though, the Minnesota Timberwolves defeated the San Antonio Spurs, 114 to 105, behind a game high 34 points from Anthony Edwards. In the San Antonio defeat, Wimbenyama finished with 17 points, 13 rebounds, 5 assists, 4 blocks, and 2 steals. In the third quarter, Spurs head coach Greg Popovich didn't waste any time in adding a little intrigue. Wimbenyama and Jeremy Sohan were benched by Pop only 59 seconds into the half after Wimbenyama mishandled a low pass and then turned it over on the subsequent possession. At the end of the day, Edwards proved that winning real games is fun, something Wimby will eventually discover. Victor Wimbenyama is a promising young talent in the NBA, there's no doubt about that. As Victor Wimbenyama continues to develop and grow as a player, we can expect to see him face off against these players again in the future to get his revenge. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.